All right, today we're going to talk about multiplying radicals. So, multiplying radicals, this isn't too different from just multiplying variables. Um, very similar, other than we can do some simplifying after the fact um, once we've multiplied through. Sometimes, not all the time. So, when we were adding and subtracting radicals, they had to have the same root number in order to combine them, right? And then I was just like combining, so just like variables. So just like if I was multiplying variables, like I am I can multiply these together no matter what, so it doesn't matter what their base is anymore. Uh, when you multiply, you're just, they have to have the same root, obviously, which I think all of these will. Um, but when you multiply, you multiply the numbers in the root together. So this is the same as saying like three times two. Three times two is six. So this would be the square root of six. Now at this point, there might be something more I can do to simplify um, if this is a number that I can actually pull out a factor that has a root, I would do that now. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing that I can pull out. So that is my answer, square root of six, okay? Number two, this one, oh, so easy. Um, but I'll go through, show you guys. So basically I've got 20 times 20, right? 20 times 20 is going to be 400. So square root of 400. Does 400 have a square root? It sure does. It's 20, which should be pretty obvious. If you're taking any number, multiplying it by itself, even as a root, basically all you're doing is you're just canceling out the root. So the answer to this is just going to be 20. Okay, pretty easy, right? What about this one? Square root of 10 times the square root of 5. Well, 10 times 5 is 50. So you've got the square root of 50. Now, can I simplify that anymore? Well, 50 doesn't have a nice even square root, but 25 times 2 would equal 50. 25 certainly does, right? So if I think of that as 25 times 2, square root, I can take out the square root of 25, which is 5, so it would be 5 times square root of 2 as your final answer. Okay, not too tough there. Let's do one of these trickier problems. Let's look down here, and do I want to do a fourth root, or one of, let's do one of these parentheses. So parentheses, I've got a square root of 6 be multiplied with both a square root of 3 and a 2. So when I multiply, the 6 and the 3 are going to combine. So 6 times 3 is 18, right? So you got the square root of 18. But square root of 6 times 2, that just would become a coefficient. It would just go in front because this isn't a square root. So it would be like plus 2 times the square root of 6. Now, can I simplify, I can't simplify this square root of 6 anymore, but what about this 18? If I wanted to try to get it to a base of 6, 6 times 3, neither of those would square root, right? So I can't do any more combining, but I can simplify this a little bit more, because 2 times 9 equals 18, and 9 has a square root of 3. So I can pull out the 3 and leave the 2 plus 2 square root of 6. And that would be my most simple form. Okay, and that's really all you're doing today. There's not really much more to go over. Well, let's do one of these. They're kind of like a quadratic, I guess. So let's do one of these. Um, just to kind of get you guys in the practice of it. So let's do number 16. So again, just like when we were distributing the binomials, each number distributes to each number in the other parentheses. So this 1 is going to distribute to the negative 2, the 3, or the, oh, sorry, there's only two numbers there. 1 is going to distribute to the negative 2 and the 3 square root of 2. And that square root of 2 is going to distribute to the negative 2 and the 3 square root of 2. So when I do that, I'm going to get negative 2 plus 3 square root of 2, and then minus... 2 square root of 2, and then plus 3 square root of 4. Well, 
let's combine or simplify any of these roots that I can. This 4 can square root. So 4 square root of 4 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. And then let's see. 3. These both have the so, so they can combine. So they would combine to be just come the square root of 2. Positive square root of 2. Because negative 2 plus 3 is just 1. So plus, and then I still have this negative 2 in front here. And I've got one more com combination I can make, the negative 2 and the 6. So I'm going to have the square root of 2, and then plus 4. And that is my final answer there. Okay? And that's what you're doing with the uh, multiplying radicals.